Right, this is a Victoria sponge that I'm going to make for Gloria's birthday, which is today. Happy birthday! And she's behind the camera, and she's a bit shy, so she's not going to say anything. Right, so, I've got all the ingredients uh, weighed out. I've got 200 grams of sugar, caster sugar. I've got 200 grams of self-raising flour. I've got three eggs. I've got... What else have I got? Um, oh, I've got some baking powder, a tablespoon of baking powder to go in. And a mad cat that's dashing through the kitchen. Um, oh, and 200 grams of butter. Unsalted. unsalted. <laughs> Thank you, yes. So, I'm going to mix the butter first. Um, I think we have to take this off. Shove these in. There we go, that's number one. Right, there we go. And then I'm going to mix the margarine, I think, with some sugar. I hope it's not margarine. No, it's not margarine, it's butter. Slip with the tongue. Um, I think I should put some sugar in. Or should I just... What do the instructions this? say? Um, I don't know, I've got my glasses on. Turn the page. Right. Okay. Preheat the oven. Yes, that's on. Preheating. Um, with an electric mixer. Cream the sugar and butter. Yes, I thought so. Till it's light and fluffy. So, we're going to put some sugar in. Like that. Some pre I prepared earlier. Oh, all of the sugar. Right. Okay. There. All the sugar. And then, we're going to start and uh, mix. Right, here we go. Whoops, maybe not. <laughs> and now we are adding the egg, at least a third of the egg, into the canyon I've already made in the middle. So there we go. That's a third of the egg. I hope. And then we're away again. And here we go with another third of the egg. That will make half an egg. Or half of three eggs. One and a half Will it not make two thirds of your egg mixture? Yeah. I meant egg wise, because there's three eggs. I see. You see? I see. I'm the cook here with the Michelins. Really? Yeah. That would be the tyres. That would be the tyres. <laughs> right. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Better slow down a bit. Didn't you say you were going to put a bit of flour in with? Oh yes, egg. hang on. Whoops. I thought you did. Yeah, okay, I'll put some... Um, now then, I'll add some flour. Now why are you doing that? <laughs> Stop, that's enough, like I'll one tablespoon really... Right, here we go. Probably enough. This will be nice, you watch. And My it'll be delicious. Right. Now we've got the rest of the egg, um, and it's come up rather nice, I have to say. And soon I'll be put more flour in. Has a mind of its own, this mixer. Super fast. Well, apparently we have to fold the flour in. I don't know why, because I've never done that before, but... She's never baked a cake before. Yes, I have. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> What's that, that lopsided one 20 years ago? <laughs> it's not long since I baked a cake, I have to say. Anyway. I've put that in. Right. Now I'll put some more in. Like so. Ah, getting quite professional there, throwing it in. Throwing it in, oh yes. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. jolly good. I've been watching um, the chefs on the TV. Only the chefs on the TV don't take the treats out of the egg, and I do. I can't deal with treats. Right. 
fold it in. Okay. Now I'm going to add the bacon powder. And I know I should have added this with the self raisin flour, but I didn't, I forgot. So here we go. I don't think it'll make any difference. Really. In fact, I'm sure it won't. Are you sure I can't use an electric mixer? Because it makes you have make this. Are you absolutely positive? Taking the Fifth Amendment on that one, Ellen. Really? Right. How long do you have to, to do this? Because last time I made a cake, I'm sure I didn't do it by hand. Last time you made a cake, somebody else made it for you. No, <laughs> I did make a cake. Only I put half the sugar in, and yeah, I did. You did. Yeah, and it was a nice cake. Even and you, you the used the mixer, but you, I don't think you used self raising flour because this is a different recipe. It is. Yes, it's not the B roll recipe, which I'm used to. This <laughs> one is out of a magazine, <laughs> a classic recipe. Where instead of being four, four and four ounces, we on, uh, what are we on? Kilograms or something? Grams. Grams, yeah. We're on grams. God knows why we're on grams, but we are. Right, now we've got two greased, uh, no, we haven't got, they're not greased. Well, they are greased underneath. No, they're not. No, they're not greased. No, greased. Uh, Greaseproof paper in the tins. And, wow, this is heavy. So, um, hang on. <laughs> See the concentration you have to have to do this. Right. Is that one? Okay. I think I might have put too much in that one. Right, I think that's it. They can go in the oven now. No, 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 I'll smooth them. What? Oh, smooth them, yes. Sorry, smooth I forgot. Them. Put um, them into the tin. Put them into the tin. Well, here we are. We are now ready to put these cakes in the oven. I'm sure they'll come out and be delicious. I'm sure they will. They look beautiful. Yeah, they do. Though. Right, here we go. Into the oven. Quickly. Shut Stop the oven. But they do get hot, these ovens, don't they? <laughs> no wonder I'm not keen on it. And here it is. All nicely done. It's got um, apricot jam and butter icing in the middle. This is Ellen's sponge, especially for Gloria's birthday. Happy birthday, Gloria. Thank you. We might have some ice cream with it or some cream or something like that. But we'll light the candles later, I think. There we go. On my own work. Nearly. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly. It's beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome.